The first question was, list six books of the Bible in the Old Testament referred to as books of minor prophets. Just as you copy, uh huh. Tell us those books. Mhm. 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 All those are, are minor prophets. Uh huh. There is also Nahum, because you've talked about Micah. Nahum, Abakia, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, Obadiah, and Jonah. The, the 1B, outline the effects of translation of the Bible into African languages. What were the results? Number one, the scriptures were written in languages that the Africans could be able to understand. So Africans could be able to understand. It enables spread of Christianity. Spread of Christianity and you talking about getting new converts is the same thing. And then it... The, the rise of uh, independent African independent churches, so there are more churches. Also, you can talk about the rise of more uh, African schools, because now they could be able to read and understand. It also led to development of formal education, or you can say it led to the development of literacy. Another effect is the establishment of printing press. Because there was more demand of the Bible. More Bibles, people demanded more Bibles. So, the, the establishment of uh, publishing houses. So, there was also establishment of Bible societies. Bible societies because uh, there was need for the Bible to be translated in more local languages. More local languages. It led also to further research into the African religion. It led to employment, create creation of employment. People could work in the printing farms or the printing houses. It led uh, to many Africans. Many Africans now are able to identify with Christianity. It also, um, Africans started demanding for leadership roles. And then there was division in the church because more people could be able to read. You could read the Bible and understand in your own way. So you could be able to, there was division in the church because we had, people had different interpretation of the Bible. Question 1C, give six ways in which Christians in Kenya use the Bible to spread the good news. This you know. So they can use it, uh, they can hear the word of God in weddings, any ceremony that you talk about is just one point. Wedding ceremony, burial ceremony. They can also use the Bible to instruct. To instruct is to basically to teach new converts. In teaching uh, CRE, Christian Religious Education, also the Bible is used as a reference book. It is also used to compose songs, hymns, drama. It is used to write books or magazines. It is also used during discussions or uh, Bible study. The Bible also is used in prayers or healing. It is used in guidance and counseling. And it is also distributed to people so that they can read on their own. Question 2a. State the activities carried out by Israelites on the night of the Passover. So, number one, they were to choose a lamb one year old without what blemish they had to slaughter it whole and then they had to smear the blood on the door posts they roasted the meat whole also and they were to eat it with bitter herbs and unleavened bread that is one point we talk about unleavened bread or we talk about bitter herbs they were to eat while standing they were to eat while dressed up and they that they had packed their belongings, to eat while also they packed their belongings, to burn any remains. They were to remain indoors, and the Egyptian, uh, the Israelite women were to borrow what? Generally from the Egyptian women. Question 2b, state six ways in which Abraham demonstrated his faith in God. He obeyed God's call. 
Yes, is that he left his own land to go to unknown land. He agreed to enter into covenant relationship with God. He was willing to sacrifice his own son. He accepted to be circumcised together with his household. He also built altars for God in Shechem and Bethel. He agreed to change his name and that of his wife. He also believed in the fulfillment of the promises that were given to him by God. And then he started worshipping true God. That is part of the demonstrating faith because he started worshipping what God. He abandoned the worship of idols or the moon worshipping. He offered animals and birds for sacrifice. Then question 2C, explain why some people in Kenya find it difficult to worship God due to abject poverty. Yes, yeah, so they lose hope in God. Or they have a lot of wealth at different point. They are so affluent in, the, in that they, they don't see the need of worshipping God. Some others are discouraged by bad examples or the poor role models. Yes, you are in the church leadership and at the same time example and at the same time you are not a good role model. Also in influence from modern technology whereby, because here you are told to explain, whereby some people spend more time on their what? Phones or computers. Some people also don't, uh, uh, don't uh, find it difficult to worship God due to constant conflicts in churches. Also others lack knowledge of God. They have no knowledge of God. Other people also uh, are into the devil worship or into witchcraft. They into witchcraft. Others are scared or they fear being ridiculed or mocked by friends. 